So this is the Toronto Downtown Underground Pathway that basically links the whole city downtown. This is, we're starting filming here from the first Canadian place. Oh, it's closed over there. Okay. No, this is the Scotia Bank Plaza building, right? <laughs> Nobody's filming me. Stop. So everything is closed because it's a Sunday, but this is so you can get an idea. Here's a hair salon, Aroma Express Bar, a shoe store. What? Another store. Another store. So basically the whole underground path is connected with all <laughs> of these banks and stores, food courts, restaurants. What is this? This is like a cell phone store. We have some bank machines. <laughs> okay, which way now? <laughs> okay, we'll come back when there's something. So here we're gonna start into another building, Bay and Adelaide Center. And over here, right here, this is an actual winners, which is closed. So I'm gonna be going through another building. So we have some restaurants over. We have this over here. This is like a bubble tea place. Some restaurants over there. So there's a shopper's drug mart over here and there were a few more restaurants and Tim Hortons back there that I didn't film. Now we're going into the Hudson's Bay building and this is once again all connected through the underground path. Here is a map of how big this path really is, downtown Toronto. This is basically a city within our city connected around. Straight into the Eaton Center, Toronto Eaton Center, our shopping mall in downtown Toronto, really big mall. I think it's, I think it is the biggest mall in Toronto. A food truck in the middle of the food court, that is so cool. And it serves tacos and burritos. A little bit of downtown Toronto. Uh, this is the old city hall, looks very similar to the parliament building in Ottawa that we saw, but our city of Toronto is a lot bigger, it's a lot more massive than Ottawa. So, now we're outside, no more downtown underground pub. This is the really busy Bay Street, and look how massive our building is. And this is like nothing, this is like a little tiny. Piece of Toronto. Toronto is a huge it, Mom. city. Film me in it. The Simpsons Tower. Mom, can you please film me in it? <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, what is this? this is the Mom. bay in its original, I guess. Like that part there. I think it's like still original. Walking down Okay, watch out. And then like, I could believe like these plaques are original too. Since 1670. Yeah. The entrance here. This is what it basically looked like back then. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what this building is, but it says the Canada. Bank of Montreal. Oh, sorry. 
So this looks like it's obviously an original historical Victorian or pre-Victorian type building. And these buildings really intrigue me. I really love historical and love the Victorian um, culture. Like I love it. I love the history on it. I love the buildings. I think it's just gorgeous. So Toronto is in the most old. I wish I would have reported uh, Young and Dundas, Young and Dundas Square, but I didn't uh, get to go outside that way, so. But that's okay. Alright guys, this is the end of our little uh, downtown Toronto uh, underground path and a little bit of the Toronto streets tour. Unfortunately, I didn't spend too long here in uh, downtown. I just, we were planning on going to the lake, but um, we ended up uh, not doing that and we just went to the Eaton Center because I did have to pick up something at Sephora. So we'll be doing a little bit of a Sephora haul later. And I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of Toronto, our beautiful city. Bye, everybody. Bye.